Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back. So in this video, I'm continuing to work on my December Daily 2020 album and I'm working on days 22 and 23. For this day, this is day 23, my daughter actually got married, which is kind of crazy to have a wedding in December. I did that to my parents. I got married on the 19th of December. So yeah, I guess I can't complain. <laughs> Anyway, so for this day, I just decided to do one large photo and then some journaling over the top. So basically this was something I think I put on my story and so I just decided to kind of copy it. So the writing uh, is with the foil quill, of course. I'm not showing you how to do that because I have lots of videos where I've showed you how to use the foil quill, but it's just a quote that then I added to a transparency. And then um, I went ahead and used the whole punch to uh, punch that out. So the one thing that I was attempting to do with that uh, journaling over the top of the photos, I wanted to make sure that I could really see their eyes. So I positioned the transparency so that the words were not over top their eyes, but just their face. And then I ended up trimming it down. So just one detail that I wanted to share with you there. And then I was trying to decide how I wanted to add a number and I was thinking because it's actually eight and one fourth tall. So that's the height of a page protector and five inches wide. So I thought it would be good to have a transparent or excuse me, have a number that would act as a tab. And so I grabbed those same numbers that I used before the ones from Sahin design and I'm going to use those back to back. So you'll see me put those in at the end. And then I'm moving on to day 23 because it's going to be on the back side. And I felt like basically day 22 was done. It's just a picture and some journaling. So it doesn't need to be more complicated than that, right? So what I ended up doing for this is I'm kind of doing a, a layout basically, and I'm copying something that I did years ago. I think it was either in 2018 or through 2019. I know it was a June digital kit but I did a layout that was basically identical to this. I had a photo, then I did a large title made out of vellum, and then I had some journaling. And I came across it the other day and I thought, you know what, this would actually be really great in the album. I needed to do something on the back side. And this story is about basically finding a place to live. So when I came back to uh, Utah over the holidays, there was like a, 50 50 chance i'm like trying to think what the odds were 50 50 chance that we were moving back to salt lake so we didn't really know in fact it was probably more like 40 percent moving back but we thought you know while we're here we should look at some stuff that is available to rent just in case because if we do move back it would likely be in january because we wanted our daughter to be able to start school you know so we we went on the i believe we actually went on the 24th i think it was actually christmas eve which is kind of funny that people were willing to show us their homes on christmas eve but we went out and we looked at a few houses and there was this one that actually did not fit our needs like at all but i really liked it and i liked the location and i thought that megan would really like the location and so that was like my number one. I do not believe it was Adam's number one, but it's, it's the one that I really wanted. Um, and I knew that it would be kind of hard cause it was definitely a lot smaller, you know, to fit like all of our things. But anyway, I'm digressing. <laughs> so this is the story that I ended up telling for this day. It's not, you know, like I said, that actually happened on the 24th, but that's totally fine. Like having it on the 23rd. Cause I really wanted to, have day 24 for the celebration of Christmas Eve with our family like we normally do but I wanted to make sure that I told this story in my December daily so this is definitely not a Christmas story but it's what was going on in our life at the time and I really want to include that stuff because this was such a significant thing for us that um, especially knowing that we ended up moving that I wanted to include this story. So you can see that I've got four photos and those were just photos that I, you know, grabbed from online. And then the vellum welcome home came from, I believe Ali Edwards home story kit. And then I just have my journaling underneath. And then I added it to the backside of that photo and I had to make sure that I could staple it first and then add it on which is why I kind of did it you know I kind of did it in stages it was like I 
cut it on one side so I could actually get the staple where I wanted it to be and then I cut a little bit off on the other side so it was I did that all because I wanted to be able to uh, make sure that I could staple that that word on so anyway then I'm adding the numbers back to back so I really love that pop of red and I love that it's the same as you know day 21 and then it could just be the same thing on the back side so I was thinking that maybe on the vellum I needed a little something because or not the vellum the transparency because the number is on the photo because I wanted you to be able to flip the photo over by grabbing onto that number and so I had some I guess it's just stickers some cardstock stickers made out of stars and so I just grabbed kind of a smaller one there were two the same size and I put them back to back just underneath the number I don't anticipate that you would actually hold on to that transparency like that but it was just something simple that I could add you know that that would add some layer to this page so anyway you guys that's it for days 22 and 23 definitely not complicated but really love you know both of these stories in my album and with the wedding I feel like I've you know I have other albums and and journaling on this that I didn't feel like I needed to add anything more so I went simple anyway thank you guys so much for being here and we will see you next time bye